This is taken at the three. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Now here comes the Redskin defense heading back onto the field. They're losing here as we begin the third quarter, trying to stop this from being a bigger deficit. And I used to play for a coach who always talked about getting the other team's attention. And in this case, they want to let them know that you're going to do the dictating from here on out, not the other way around. Trying to impose their will as we start the third. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll be tackled at about the 35. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Some runs are blocked so well, you almost forget that someone has to carry the ball to gain the yardage. The leverage by the offensive line to create space up front, really well done. All right, here we go. Green, 39. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. And he's unable to grab it. Thought he might have had position, couldn't hold on, third down. And when all else fails as a defender, when you're not there in the coverage, your best friend is exactly what we saw there. A big play shot taken by the offense. Unfortunately, it ended in a big drop. Back to throw here. Oh, it's a screen pass, that's complete. And he's got the first down as he's up to the 45-yard line. Give him 10 yards on that one, and that'll earn him a fresh set of downs. He went full scale, loose, flexible, finding a way to catch the ball in some traffic for a key first down. Yeah, really a nice job of adjusting to the ball in the air. Not the most accurate of throws, but able to adjust and make the grab. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And able to push his way forward here for a good little gain. Give him six yards on the carry. It's going to be third and three now. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. He'll look to throw. And a quick throw here. That's complete. A gain of seven, and they pick up the first. And well, the offense lining up first and ten. And to give this time to the tailback. And little room to maneuver there. He gets it down to about the 39. Credited with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Offense walks to the line for play number seven of the drive. They'll give it to him right up the gut. And he'll be brought down just outside of the 30. Give him eight yards there. Still a few inches to go, though, as it'll be third down at about the length of the football. This drive is turning to an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. And they'll go ground game here with a tailback. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. I always appreciate runners who understand situations. That was just third and inches. No reason to dance around in the backfield and try and break up a bigger play. Just go pick up the first down, and that's exactly what he did. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. That throw good for four. It's second down. And as the numbers show, last week good. This week not as good. My question to you, you ready? Yes, please hit me. Why? Because last week, he was able to find the seams and defenses, and the ball was delivered before a second guy could get there and make a play on it. And he's going to be taken down here. A sack back at the 32. It'll go in the books as a seven-yard loss on the sack, and it's third down. And they brought the pressure there just right up the gut, didn't they? Yeah, they certainly did. And, you know, when you've got so many different responsibilities as an offensive line, you got to deal with the nose tackle, the two defensive tackles or ends, and then sometimes you just can't account for everyone. The linebacker slipped free. 
And a really long drive here, and it goes on and on. Yeah, they've got an extra defensive back out there now on third and 13. They'll set up a throw. That is caught right at the 10 yard line. A good pick up there at 22. A great job pulling that one in from a guy, as we know, who can really blaze. He's got a lot of speed. And that speed can work for him so many different ways. Sometimes he just takes off and goes, just runs past people. Sometimes you get people to back off so far that you can catch everything underneath. But still, at some point in the game, you probably gonna have to make some contested catches, right? Sometimes you have to go up and beat a defender for the football. He has that in his arsenal as well. Showed it right there. He'll drop to throw, and he just throws this one away. Smart decision here this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. Let's face it, perfection is something we all chase, whether it's playing this game or whatever we do. Hard to attain, but that's what they were searching for as that pass goes incomplete. And they'll go on the ground. And a short pick up there down to about the nine. Only a yard there, and that'll bring us to third and goal. And the seemingly endless drive continues. An extra defensive back on the field here for third and goal. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And this is going to be caught. No, they say it's incomplete. A third down, he tried to stay in bounds, did all he could. He caught it, but was led a little bit too far. Yeah, and that's always difficult, isn't it? Because you know half of your body is trying to stay behind while the other half is reaching out, trying to catch the football. The top half worked. It was the bottom half that was in question. And his kick is good. And that will open the lead up now to 20-7. to seven. So it was a drive that seemed to go on for an eternity forever. Our sponsors were probably saying, hey, we need to get our products in here on these commercials. But after all of that, three points is a result. Yeah, it's hard to say who came out ahead there, isn't it? On one hand, you kept the defense out there a long time. But after controlling the ball for so long and just moving the ball incrementally down the field, a field goal seems like a bad result. This one taken from the seven. It'll bring it back to just about the 25. Call it the 24-yard line. So here's the Redskins offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot of the time. How many plays do you script coming out of the second most of, most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10, kind of a starter or an opener, whatever, they, whatever terminology they use, just something to get you off to a quick start. Offense in a good spot here, second and two. They'll run it now, out of the gun. Only a yard on the pickup, so from a good situation on second and two, it's now third and one. Tough day, tough sledding right there, and it's been that way the entire game. Not a whole lot of room to ramble for him. Yeah, you're right, it's been that way all afternoon. Didn't get a whole lot better there. Now they'll run it on the toss. Oh, what a move. Uh, he will have a first down here at about the 40. Call it a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. Third and one, partner. No need to be fancy there. Just use some force and move forward and pick up the first down. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he will be brought down at about the 43 that time. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Second down following the run. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. Call it a gain of five there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them 
can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. There we go now. They'll go to the air here on third and two. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. They give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. Now a play fake here on first down. And he just gets rid of it. Throws it away. The wise move there looked like nobody open. Now second down. It's always tough trying to keep your guy upright when he's trying to throw the football. And when you're dealing with those big bad guys on the defensive front, it's even tougher. And this time, those guys on the opposite side won the battle, getting to the quarterback and knocking him into an incompletion. And second and 10, he'll look to throw again. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm, incomplete. Now it's third down. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. They'll look to throw again. And he dropped it. Now it was tipped, altered the ball a little bit, but he dropped it, and now fourth down. Anytime a ball's thrown in the middle of the field that's popped up in the air, I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. And this is good. It was running out of gas there at the end, but he winds up getting just enough on it. And that cuts into the deficit. It's now 20 to 10. A decent drive there to start the third quarter. They only salvage three out of it, but they do inch a bit closer. Yeah, still lots of time to go in this one. Take the points, move on, and let your defense try to get the ball back. Here's the Redskins now as their kick unit will send this one away. This is taken at his four. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. And now we get a look at the captain of this offense heading back out there now. And right now, probably just one thing in his mind, it's getting back to the hot start because he's really faded. And ordinarily when that happens, the quarterback, as you know, is usually the leader of the squad. Now there's probably a, a silent camaraderie that comes around him saying, hey, guess what? We got you, don't worry about it. Let's go big fella, because they know more times than not, he tends to pick things up and they tend to play well. In my book, that's running the ball well, but with intelligence. How about him keeping the clock moving, staying in bounds? Yeah, even though it's the third quarter, you're thinking ahead, aren't you? This is where your running game can really help you with a lead in the second half. I agree totally. It's not just end of the half situations that you worry about the clock. It's throughout the game. And with a lead, stay in bounds. Make them fight harder to try and catch you. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. And he continues to pile up the yardage. That puts him over a buck 50 now. And this defense has really had its problems trying to keep him contained. And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. Green, 39! And they'll run it here. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. I don't know about you, partner, but I'm rubbing my eyes after that play. Did we just see that runner not get yardage? A big-time play by the defense. It does happen occasionally, even against the best running backs who are having big days. They'll give it to him right up the gut, and he is going to lose yardage here. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and 12. Partner, I think there's a lesson there. Some days you're just having a really tough time, and for the defense, today has been that day. But after that play, what do you learn? You can still make plays, even when the other guy's having success against you. So now a third and 12 with an extra defender here in the secondary, a nickel look. They're going to look to throw. Wide open, receiver complete. And they convert on third with a gain of 22.
So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. So it's a quarter that saw these two teams trade field goals here as we've reached the end of three quarters of play. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. It's the Colts. They've got control of the football. They also have the lead as we start the fourth. And they'll go with the ground attack here. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. No gain on the play there. Second down. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take, puts a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. Seventh play of the drive, forthcoming on third and eight. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. Now back to throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 15, just shy of the 10. A good pick up there, a 22. And defensively, they just don't seem to have much of an answer for this passing game. Not at all. Look at the confidence that's exhibited here with that type of a lead. Clock on their side. Instead of running it, they're still throwing it, trying to pick up first downs and keeping the football. And now inside the red zone, the offense will operate. They come out here in the eye. And to give this time to the tailback. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Well, Brandon, he's had a great day, and sometimes that just happens. It is the NFL. They will make some plays against you. It's a five-receiver set. Three to the left, two to the right. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. This will be caught at about the five. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Their dangerous wide receiver. His fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Colts add on to their lead. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, <laughs> all right? Because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. Aren't any speed <laughs> limits out there? And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. A 10-play drive that time, and it culminates in an Indianapolis touchdown. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This is taken at the three. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. Mm -hmm. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Really good defensive effort. They were all over that little swing pass out to the right side before lost yardage. Terrific read. Better execution and done with a lot of enthusiasm, wasn't it? Yeah, absolutely. They saw it all the way, ran to the football, and caused a nice play for lost yardage. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 
There were a couple of holes there, partner. Was that zone coverage? It's exactly what it was, Brandon. When you see man-to-man, -man, that defender runs with the receiver. In this case, they were just taking care of their zone coverages, their responsibilities on the field, and the offense found the open space. So here we go, six, first six, and ten five. now. the gun they'll look to throw and it's a short one here complete to the tight end the completion good for three and it's second down I think what we're seeing today partner is what happens when you have a really good game the previous week you get a lot more attention from the defensive coordinator yeah. it looks to me like they spent a lot of time figuring out tendencies how they get in the football and adjusting accordingly well, they've adjusted and the numbers certainly show that and he finds a man on the crossing round that catch good for five. It's third down. And there they went crossing route against the zone defense. What do you think of that? Takes real coordination between the passer and the receiver because you've got to read those zones and where the open spots are and be on the same page with the guy throwing the football. Because sometimes you're throwing it in front of the zone. Sometimes you're throwing it between the zone. Sometimes the receiver's going to just kind of find a spot and what we call sit down and present himself to the quarterback and throw it there. It's a tough read, but when they're in sync, it's really effective. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware a ball may come your way. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. Offense still needing 10 yards, second down. They'll come out in the pistol. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. Give him three on the play, and it'll be third down. On third down, he'll drop to throw, and he's got his man on the out route. A gain of 11 and a first down. And there's another completion to the tight end. And let's face it, it is hard to overthrow a six foot six inch target. <laughs> it is indeed. The quarterbacks like their speed guys. They like that huge six six target that they've got in him. They really do. And it reminds me of what one great tight end told me once. He had told his quarterback just. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. The corner blitz gets there as he goes down for a loss of seven. I don't care if you're taking it in round one, you're undrafted, whatever. As a rookie quarterback in this league, you're going to have games where you face adversity like this. Lessons. All the time you're going to face these lessons. The key for this guy is, will he be able to bounce back in the next one? Because right now, this has not been his game. Two receivers left, one to the right. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. Looking left side and it's complete. They got 18 yards out of that one and it gets them a new set of downs. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to it? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball and they keep making the connection. Long drive. The defense just cannot seem to catch a break and get off the field. Now we've got whistles here before the snap. Was this on the Redskins? I think so. So now first and 15. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. He's got time in the pocket. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. It looked like he might have had a window there, but the rhythm was just a little bit off. It certainly was because everything that has to come together to get a pass completed, yeah, you're right, the sink just wasn't there. And they do get him down, but not before he reaches the four-yard line. Thank you, man. 
One of the feature points of the in route is being able to make a nice throw to the middle part of the field. And for a quarterback, that's one of the better throws and better looks that he'll get. But he has to be careful not to wait too long and let his receiver wander into some tough territory. If he's late with the ball, he can get his receiver hit and hit hard. Laundry on the field. This is going to be a false start on the offense. Sometimes you have to slow things down a little bit when things get heated. The cadence has to be slow and deliberate at times to make sure your team's ready to go. Oh, just play after play after play on this long drive for the offense. Now a play fake here on first down. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Sometimes the coverage is so good, no matter what you're doing on offense, you just can't shake anyone free. They try their best to find someone open, but they took away every passing alley, every angle, and shut the play down. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. So second and goal here from the nine. They'll run it now out of the gun. And his rough afternoon continues. He's going nowhere again. They'll get nothing out of that one, and it's going to lead to a third down. Partner, it's been my experience that after two stops like that near the goal line, defense has only become bolder. They don't back off at all. I think they continue to bring pressure and force them to make a really big play against them. And the incompletion, then the run for no gain. Let's see now. Offense. They gotta have six here. It's third and goal. They come out here in the eye. They'll give it to him right up the gut. And he is gonna lose yardage here. A loss of a yard and it brings up four. Wasn't that long ago that the NFL guys really didn't adopt much from the college game. But one thing that has crept in there is spreading things out, opening things up, not even just in tempo, but maybe getting better line splits and spreading the field. I think that would be a great strategy right now to try and open things up in the run game. And his kick is right there. It's good. And high fives for that one as that drive ends in three. All right, so it's getting late in this one. Now, you could argue that they needed to get back within two scores, and they did indeed do that, but they still face a pretty uphill battle. Yeah, even with the field goal here, it's going to take two fourth-quarter touchdowns now to get back in it, and that's going to be a tall order against this defense. This one taken from the seventh. Legs still churning. Like a giant pinball. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. And there are the numbers. Got off to that torrid hot start. We thought he was in for maybe a career day. Not the case. No doubt about it. It almost looks like a misprint after what we saw in the first half. But let's give a little bit of credit to the guys on our side of the ball. They went in at halftime, made a few adjustments. And you know what else? They didn't lose their confidence in how their ability to play. Because a lot of times you get beat down in the first half, it gets ugly in the second half. They've come out with a new resolve and a renewed determination. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. He's played a great game. It continues right there, even with this lead. Confident to throw the pass and have the reception made. There's no doubt who the leader of their team is, is there? There's no doubt who they want to ride all the way to the finish. Because strategy would tell you, run the football, run the clock down. Instead, they're letting him throw it because they feel that confident in what he's getting done. And that one falls incomplete. Looked like he might have had position there, but he couldn't hold on it at second down. One thing I know from experience is that when the deep ball is thrown and you're the defender, you've got to fight that little bit of panic that emerges. You've got to play the ball really well. It's a 50-50 jump ball play. And guess what? They took a shot. How are you going to win it? And in this case, they managed to get it done. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Again, we'll see the pistol here. And he'll give it here to his running back. 
And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. So he loses three yards there. Now third down. That draw play got blown up by the blitz of the defense. Ordinarily, that's exactly what you want. You want them to blitz, and they go past you, and you go past them for a big gain. But in this situation, they hit him at the worst possible spot, right exactly where you were running the draw, and he got in there and got him. All right, here we go. Green, 39. Green, 39. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. Seven yards on the play, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. Whether you're playing West Coast offense or not, one of the maxims of the West Coast offense is you're either throwing a touchdown or a check down. In other words, look for the big shot, but be smart. And I think they did exactly that on that play. They didn't get the first down, but they're taking care of the ball well. Yeah, and being rightly cautious with that lead here in the second half. The Redskins offense now. They head back onto the field. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. Sideline throw. It's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. A good start there on this fourth quarter drive. They need more of what we just saw. Down a couple of scores. They're still tied. All right. It's not like you know they're totally out of it, but they have to score quickly. And they're going to need some big time plays, chunk plays, explosive plays. They need yardage on each snap. Back to throw here. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Well, how about that? A dime set on defense. Six defensive backs. None of them blitz. They're just back there in coverage. Defensive lineman gets the sack. That's where the O-line, they go to the sideline. They keep their, their helmets on so the cameras can't find them, right? Yeah, the cameras can't find them. But I know one thing. The O-line coach will. Third down, still 14 yards left. One receiver left, two to the right. Let's go. Three and 19. Three and 19. Out of the gun now on third down. Finding his safety valve here. That's complete. And down he'll go at the 25. Give him nine on the play, and that's going to make it fourth down. Pardon, I think that completion takes the definition of dink and dunk to a different level, doesn't it? It does, and the defense was right there, kind of played into their hands. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. Green, 39. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And this is intercepted. And that should do it. A great read, and it's picked off. And they will take over at the 29-yard line. This spot in the fourth quarter with that deficit had to throw the football. Unfortunately, there's the risk of big turnover. And you know you're going to be throwing against nickel, dime, all sorts of exotic defenses, but you have to do it anyway. Ordinarily, you might want to run the football a little bit, try and get them out of it. But as you noted, this time of the game, this point on the clock, had to throw it. And now Indianapolis set to take the field. They've got the lead. Last time had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Ah, the leverage. big guys up front. You know the motivational ah, speech on the sideline is, guys, let's give us an opportunity. Protect the passer, create space for our runners, and let's go ahead and get these guys. Low man wins. Let's go do it on this drive. <laughs> we'll watch that leverage on this drive. So the Colts in possession of the football as we get your reset. They've got a second down now as they look to salt this one away. Second down, nine yards to go. We got three, we got three, fellas. Right, here we go. Three, nine, nine. Now a handoff here to his running back. And a stiff arm. And now we're going to get a timeout called by the Redskin defense. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. So a defensive timeout, chance to regather, regroup, and get set as we resume action. Leopard, Leopard. 
And they'll try the ground game here with the running back. The Redskins looking for another timeout, and they get it. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. All right, so the timeout over and all 11 men back out onto the field for the defense. And this one is right through. And that'll push the lead up to 17. And you figure with that, this game's pretty well out of reach. It would take a heck of a comeback at this point. Being three scores down, I think that's too much to ask with time winding down here in the fourth. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This is taken at the three. <laughs> And not a bad return. Here he gets it out to the 25-yard line. So out now come the Redskins. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge, and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's <laughs> get out of here and do something some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue to, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. the shotgun he'll look to throw he's gonna let it fly and the hit jarred it loose it's incomplete well they went for the big play there but that drop could really hurt their momentum let's see what they go to here on third down at six let's go Three, 19. Ah! out of the gun they'll look to throw and he dropped it. Now it was tipped. Altered the ball a little bit, but he dropped it. And now fourth down. Well, we're not playing three yards in the cloud of dust football anymore. I got to get why those old school coaches sometimes didn't want to throw the football. Because if it's popped up in the air, it almost turns into slow motion. And both sides trying to get to the football. And you're holding your breath wondering whether it's going to go good or bad for your team. This will be fielded at the 17. A nice job on the return there, 16 yards. And that will come the offense as they take over. Now the Colts offense gets ready to head back on the field. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them wanted to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. And on the ground they go with a running back. And he'll get this only up to about the 35. Give him three yards on the run there. That still leaves him with a difficult third and eight coming up. It's really no surprise to see them running the ball here. They've got the lead. Not much time left. They just want to keep the clock moving, and they can win it right now. And, Charles, I think when the schedule comes out, all teams, no matter where they're predicted to finish, talk about protecting your home turf. They were able to do that here in this one. Similar to a tennis match, right? Not letting them break your serve. That way you hold on to it. They got it done, and they feel very good about that victory. So for the Colts, the win moves them up to 5-2 and two now on the year. And they'll have another home date next week as the New York Giants come to town. Meanwhile, for the Redskins, the loss here will move them back to 500 at 3-3. Three and three. And they'll try to get back to their winning ways next week as they head to Lambeau to take on the Packers. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gaughton. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Colts are winners as we say so long from Indianapolis.